Hey team, happy Wednesday. Coach Kenzie here. Um, we are trying out something new. Uh, I'm using the mic that you guys will see next week that we have here at Middletown. So I'm going to be doing the workout with you here just a little bit. Um, but we have the wonderful Ryan Goodlett over there demoing for you. And then she's going to help keep the timer on while we're doing the workout today, while I'm doing the workout with you. But I'm going to try to talk to you through the mic and just we'll see how it goes. Um, she told me I look like Hannah Montana, so I was hoping more like Madonna or Britney Spears, but I'll go with that. It's fine. Okay, so for our Wednesday workout, we have MVP. Okay, it's one of my favorites. Love it. Um, the way that MVP works, it's one pod, so a big circle of 12 stations. We do one set at each station. We do two laps around the room. Okay, your work time is 60 seconds, so a full minute, and your rest time is 30 seconds. Okay, um, so the even, the even numbers on that two change, so we'll demo those at the water break. Okay, so just pay attention to that and we'll have you ready. So we'll go ahead and get started with station number one. We have those single arm battle ropes. So sit down into that squat, single arms, going back and forth, up and down as quickly as possible. You can always just go out to the side, drop those battle ropes, and just do side to side. Okay, next we're gonna come over and grab our weights. We have a dumbbell and over boxing. So go into that squat, bend and over, keeping that flat back, boxing it down, looking good, Ron. Okay, you can again use water bottles, anything you have at home for that. Three, we have that standing bike. Okay, so if we want to do the standing bike, you can always do high knees, anything else. If you do not have a bike at home, if you do, make sure you're standing, putting that tension on the handlebars. For number four, overhead medicine ball shuffle. So hold in whatever weight you have at home over your head and shuffling those feet back and forth. For number five, find you a side of a couch, find you a cooler, anything, and we're going to do bench hop overs. Okay, so hopping back and forth, you can go to the side of the bench, you can go in front of the bench and hop over, whatever you can do. For number six, we're going to go into the dead ball squat with a clean. So whatever weight you have at home, we're going to go into that squat. So you'll bend down to pick up that weight, clean it up into a squat, and then bring it back down. Nice, perfect. For number seven, we have skipping, so jump rope. So if you have a jump rope at home, or you can pretend like you have a jump rope. So... <laughs> Did we learn how to jump rope in elementary school, Ron? Come on now. You're making, I mean, I'm a PE teacher. You're making me sad right now. All right, for number eight, we have that balance trainer alternating limb crunch. Okay, getting on that trainer, putting our shoulders on it, and we're gonna touch the inside of our feet, opposite hand, yep. Bringing it up, crunch it. There you go, you can always do that from the ground. For number nine, we have that wonderful rowing machine. Rowing machine. So. Um, if you have a rower at home, a water rower, whatever, you have that movement there. If not, that's fine. You can do explosive. You can do explosive um, squat jumps. Okay, so squat jump the entire 60 seconds instead of that rowing machine. All right. For number 13, we have a sledgehammer overhead wood chopper. So bring it overhead between your legs. Okay, so squatting down. Ryan, bring that top hand up. Yep, right there. Squatting down, bring it all the way overhead. And back through, yep, looks good. All right, for number 11, we're gonna go back to that bike. We have a seated bike, okay, so seated bike. So we're gonna try to go as quickly as possible. <laughs> Some people struggle putting their feet in, I do, it's fine. So for that seated bike, um, you can do anything from high knees to shuffles to squats. Okay, we're gonna try to make it as quickly as possible. And then for 12, for that final exercise, we have that kettlebell swing. So whatever weight you have, make sure you're hinging at the hips, like bend those knees, bring in that kettlebell to about eye length and back through. Squeeze those glutes. Awesome. All right, friends, we're going to get warmed up in about 15 seconds, so you know what the workout is. I'm going to come over and work out with you. Ryan's going to count us down, keep us on time with the clock, and we'll get this started. All right, Ryan. Ready to take over, back? Yeah, yeah. Alright. Here we go. We got high knee punches with the high uh, with the tempo. This is gonna be fun. Trying to do the workout with the I can do something still. Oh okay. <laughs> We're gonna tag team this. It's gonna be amazing. Alright, start jumps, let's go. You're gonna be heavy breathing because I can already tell this one's gonna be a tough one. It's gonna be great. We'll all scrap together. All right, here we go. We're going to shuffle, bring that knee up, abduction, and bring it back in. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Oh, 
thrusters, hip thrusters. Hip thrusters. Squeeze those glutes. Get this team. Really warm up those muscles. Getting them ready. And the knee is no joke. Alright, up on our feet. What we got? Hamstring stretch? Yeah. Groin, hammy. Alright. Grab those toes. Squat them down. Extend up. Stretch out those hamstrings. Okay, next is the side twist. Jump twist. Yeah, John jump twist. Because <laughs> John cannot do these. Okay, you got high knees in three, two, one. I mean, you're an asshole. <laughs> it's nice to like have Melissa back there. Oh, yes. <laughs> Not nearly as intense <laughs> or aggressive. <laughs> three, two, one to burpees. Oh, of course. I'm not finishing out with burpees. Almost there. Killing it. And one. All right, team, we got 15 seconds. We're going into those single arm battle ropes. All right, keep us on track, Ryan. Okay. What we got? We got three, two, one. And the Valor Ropes. You got 60 seconds. Killing it. I'm going to have to breathe into the mic. <laughs> struggle. Make sure you set low into that squat. You can always go to the side. Grab weights. Do it this way. Nice. Okay. You got it, guys. All the way through. Keep that booty down. Halfway. Halfway there. Killing it. All right, we're going back to the ropes to finish it out strong. Yes. 20 seconds. 15 seconds here, team. Let's go. 10 seconds. Got five, four, three, two, and one. Headed, headed to the bend over, punching the ground. <laughs> do you want me to do this? All right. You have those punches. You grab the weight. All right, we got 10 seconds here, team. 10 seconds, get ready. Make sure you know not to grab something super heavy for this one, it's rough. Okay, and let's go. 60 seconds here, punching the ground. Looking good, team. Stay with it. Keeping that flight back. Slightening in those knees. You got it, team. Let's go. 45 seconds. Looking good, Ron. Let's go. All the way. Punching, punching, punching. Keep that slight bend in the knees there. All right, guys, we are going through that halfway point. Yes, keep moving. I love it, Ryan. She's getting after it. Those are the weights I chose. Look at those arms. Goodness. 20 seconds here, team. Let's go. Almost there. 15. Yes, team, all the way. Yes, you can. You find a way. You got it, Ron. Stay with it, babe. Three, two, one. One, 30 seconds rest. We have that seated or standing up. All right, we got that standing bike. Okay. So again, you can go into high knees if you don't have a bike at home. That's perfectly fine. Okay, so if you do, you're going to find a little bit more resistance on that bike for standing. Five seconds. Five seconds here. Ryan's going to keep us.
seconds you pick it up okay we always finish stronger than we started 40 seconds let's go looking good Ron stay with it babe you guys are looking good at home let's go and you blew through that halfway point yes back and forth okay she's off the back of that bench so she doesn't have to hop over anything but she's still getting those knees those feet up off the ground all right, here we go. We're getting ready. 15 seconds. What do you got, Ryan? Come on, babe. Pick it up, pick it up. Finish strong. Yes, you can. You look awesome. Here we go. We got, we got five seconds here, team. Three, two, one. Nice. Good job, Ryan. All right, we got that dead ball squat with the clay. So I'm coming for you guys. Get ready for it. Get you a breather. Grab you some water. Got 20 seconds here. Grab that weight. Here we go. Get ready for it. We got 10 seconds, team. 10 seconds. We don't waste any time. Three, two, and one. Here we go. Clean it up. Drop it down to that squat. Bring that weight back down. So we squat to pick it up. Clean it. Going into that squat. And we squeeze our glutes as we come up. Just like if you were doing this with the bar. We were going to see you on here doing a, and a barbell to clean. Go straight down to that squat. Nice team. Let's go. Clean it. Squat. Come up. She goes it forward. Squeeze those glutes. Halfway through. Halfway through, team. Yes. <laughs> Watch out that squat down, pick up that weight, clean it, into the squat, come out, squeeze those glutes. 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Ah, strategy. All right, we got that skipping. All right. Going into that jump rope. Again, not everybody has jump ropes at home. I get it. I do. Okay. If not, go to the side and do 
is jumping it out, skipping it out. Okay. Got 10 seconds. We just want you to move. We want you to keep moving. All right, count us down, Ryan. Three, two, and one. There it is. Nice. 
Whatever weight you have at home, it's just like you're chopping some wood. I'm sure that during this quarantine, you've probably done something outside with this type of movement. Halfway point, let's go team. You got it, staying with it. Nice. I like it. Looking good, Ryan. Here we go team, 20 seconds. Keep working with it. All the way to the finish here. You got it. 10 seconds, let's go. Pick it up, babe. You got it. We're going to do laps. You got three. Two. One. Nice. Two steps done. Two steps she's over that. Her arms are hurting. All right, we got that bike seated. So sitting down on that bike. Coming over. All right, so we're going to take those. We're going to pick up the cadence. Take off the resistance a little bit. So I'm going to quit. All right, we got 10 seconds. Cutting those down. Yep. Okay, you got five. Four. Thanks, Coach Ryan. We've got one minute of work here. Well, let's go. She's doing awesome. I mean, she's a miniature metal for sure. She said she got us in the rest of the two. You got it, team. Come on now. Let's go, Bart. Are you hopping in with us now? We're going to the way through. You just got to let us finish. I'll wait till the second lap. Okay. You got this, guys. It's quick. Okay, this is not a break. Not a break at all. Let's go. We're over halfway. Over halfway, team. You got this. Find a way. Quick movements. Got 15 seconds. 15 seconds. 10 seconds to go. We're picking it up. 10 seconds. Let's go. Pick it up. Go quick, 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 quick. Five. I gotta tell you this during your break. It's so interesting because Ryan just goes, oh, that's more upper body. But no, it's not, guys. It's not arms. It's lower body drive. Use it. Pick it up. And go. One minute of work. This is it. We get a rest after this. So bringing it through those legs. Yeah, it's gross. Shooting those hips forward. Squeeze those glutes. So basically, you're penetrating forward to push that weight out in front of you. <laughs> Bad choice of words. 40 seconds, but we do this a lot. Yeah, not penetrate, but like the word choice. <laughs> let that weight come right in front of you. Don't let it go um, over top of your head. Okay, it should go to about shoulder wing with eye level. Okay, you got this, guys. 25 seconds. You get that water break before we do that second lap. We're also gonna tell you about those exercises being changed. So every even number is going to change and we will demo those for you, okay? So make sure you stay by. 10 seconds, let's go. Finish this one out. You got it, guys. You got it, Ryan. All the way, babe. Five seconds. Three, two, one, set it. Okay, you're gonna get 30 seconds to grab a drink. Of course, we get to grab a drink too for that 30 seconds. And then I'm going to demo the even new exercises. Okay, um, Mel, are you hopping in this time? Yeah. Oh, thanks. So Mel's gonna hop in. What do you want me to do? Do you want to coach? Can you tell me what you want me to do? Okay, I'm gonna coach this. Okay. All right, 10 seconds, guys, and we're starting the demos. So you can keep drinking, um, but just be ready to learn the new exercises. You're still recovering. Here we go. Your first exercise we're switching out. You're gonna do a plyo lunge with alternating punches. So you're taking that step back two times and then punch, punch. Step back, step back, punch, punch. It's step, step, and then punch, punch. You're cool, mm -hmm. it's cool. All right, so now we've got a med ball, plyo lunge, and power jump. So this is uh, every other exercise. So you're gonna pick up the med ball and jump. You're gonna hold it at your chest while you jump back, jump back. And then put it down for the jump, good. All right, now you've got a dead ball weighted oblique twist. So you wanna take a dead ball or anything that you can squeeze in between your knees to create a little tension there. And then you're going to drop your knees side to side. So it's kind of like that movement we do in the warm up, except you've got it weighted. 
and drop it. Yeah. All right. So flip your balance trainer over. You're going to put your hands on it. You're going to do mountain climbers. If you do not have a balance trainer at home, or if you need an option, you just do that straight from the ground, or you put your hands up on something end of the couch, whatever, and do mountain climbers. All right. You're going to grab that sledgehammer again. This time we're shoveling. So notice that it looks, imagine that there's a pile of something, maybe snow, maybe poo, and you're shoveling it and throwing it over your shoulder. You're going to scoop it and shovel it over the other shoulder at the halfway point. Grab your kettlebells. You're in push-up position and you're just going to do full depth push-ups. So what's going to happen is because those kettlebells are raising you off the ground, you can get lower in your push-up, which makes that push-up more challenging. Option for that would be to uh, just do them off the ground. Um, okay, we're gonna get started. We're starting back with the battle rope singles. You've got three seconds and we begin in three, two, let's go. Battle rope singles. So in that slightly squatted position, she's gonna move those arms up and down, alternating as she goes, finding that rhythm and sticking with it. You want music? All right, here we go. I love how the team makes it work when Mel isn't here. It's awesome. All right, friends, halfway point, come on. You have less than 30 seconds here. You just keep going. You find that rhythm, something you can keep doing consistently for the full interval, less than 20 seconds to go. You got it, you got it. Come on, friends, you tell yourself, this is all you've got left, 12 seconds and then you're done with battle rope singles. Come on, eight more seconds, you got it, you got it. Notice how Kinsey picks it up. She hammers it out to that finish line and rest. Right there, good job. 30 seconds to recover. Now we've got the plyo lunge with the alternating punches. So you're gonna step back with your right foot, have a little hop, step back with your left foot and then punch, punch when you're down in the lunge. Oh, could have sworn he was step, step, punch, punch. Okay, so it's step, punch, punch, step, punch, punch. See, that's what I get for showing up late. You've got three, two, and one. Go with this team, step, punch, punch. Change feet, punch, punch, good job. All right, that was cool with the microphone. So that's something you guys can expect when you get into the Middletown studio that we were trying, did you already tell them this? Yeah that we're gonna try for this, you know, time where we can't get up on you and correct you. We will give you lots of verbal cues over that microphone. Sounded cool when I walked in. Halfway point. Come on, big step back. If you need to lose the hop when you do your, your step back, yeah, you just step back. Drop that back knee though, guys. Don't shortchange this lunge. Here we go, come on. 15 seconds, I can hear Kenzie breathing through it. I wanna hear you breathing through it at home. Come on, breathe. Punch, punch. Step back, come on, five more seconds. Don't stop, see how much more you can do here. You've got three, two, and rest. All right, you've got the standing bike. If you don't have a standing bike, what are we doing? High knees, high knees if you don't have a bike. If you do have a bike, this is where you add that tension because you wanna create a hill climb. You have 15 more seconds to recover. That's nice. Hey, Ryan, are you done? Hop in. Work out. High knees next to Kenzie. You've got three, two, and one. All right, so Kenzie's doing the bike with the tension. She's climbing the hill. Ryan's going to come over and show you what this might look like if you don't. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> Dance team. You could do that. Or you could just go pull, 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 pull. That, oh yeah. But that's a good option what she was doing too. Anything like that, that, that emulates that push, pull, push, pull. She's loosey goosey over there. Halfway point, get it girl. Yeah. Ryan's on the dance team. She's not really on the dance team, but she could be. 20 seconds. There we go. Come on, keep it going. Stay with that rhythm that you chose. Stick with it and breathe. Shoo, shoo. You got this, five more seconds. You got three, two, and one. Nice job, rest. Now we've got that uh, exercise number four where you're gonna grab the med ball. 
You're gonna lunge and then jump. So you power lunge, right, left, put that ball down, jump up in the air, pick it up, lunge, lunge, put it down and jump. You got this. Eight seconds to catch your breath. And you've got three, two, and one. She picks it up, she lunges back lunges back, puts that thing down, and jumps up in the air. So here's what I want you to pay attention to. You're dropping that back knee. You put that down, you don't bend over to put it down. Notice that she squats down to put that ball down on the ground. That is functional fitness right there. Use that lower body to protect your back. She drops that thing and she's got power. If you don't have um, enough to give to give that hop at the end then just come up for a calf raise right there and reach for the sky when you do it we always got options she's gonna show you what that might look like that was nice job come on 10 seconds here there you go and you've got three two and one, nice work. You've got bench hop overs, so catch your breath and prepare for those. Ryan, you're gonna do the bench hop overs. You killed him on the last one. Ryan has a project. She's over here multitasking. So Kenzie's gonna do these bench hop overs with you at home. Kenzie works out about 25 times a day, so she don't care. All right, here we go. You got three, two, and one, you put your hands at one end of that bench or whatever you're using. If you feel safer taking your hands to the end of the bench so that you don't, and you pop your feet in the air. Kenzie, show them what I'm talking about. Will you come to the, I didn't make any sense when I said that. That's what I mean. So you're just hopping over air and not the bench. If you're worried about tripping over it or if you need to not bring your feet up as high, but there's the challenge. What Kenzie's doing right there, pulling those, Heels to her butt over the halfway point. So she's got a good rhythm right here, but I know in the last 10 seconds, she's gonna increase this pace. I'll tell you when, 20 seconds to go. I love it. You got it, she's a hop and a hop. Good. All right, 10 more seconds here. Notice what she just did, pow, pow, pow. She picked up that pace, increased that intensity. She's got three. Two and one, way to cross that finish line of that exercise, that was beautiful. All right, so now you've got the uh, dead ball with the oblique twist. So that's where you hold it in between your knees, whatever you've got at home, maybe it's a basketball or a gym ball, or I don't know, maybe you have a dead ball. Something you could actually hold, what else could you hold in between your knees? Anything weighted, it doesn't even have to be a ball. You could hold a dumbbell, drop it side to side. You could put a dumbbell in between your knees and squeeze. You literally have to hold with all that inner thigh strength, whatever you've got in between your knees. And then you're controlling the drop. So it's a nice stretch through your back, of course. You feeling that in your core? Work that core to control how you drop those knees and work in those inner thighs to hold whatever you've got in between those knees. You blew through that halfway point, friends. You have 20 seconds to go right here. Look at you. You got 10, come on, don't stop. Fight to the finish every single time. You have three, two, and one. Nice job, you done with that. She just tossed that dead ball like it didn't weigh <laughs> pounds, but it does. All right, you're gonna jump rope, skip, whatever you wanna call it. Did you point out the grids that we have on the floor in here? Y'all see the taped lines. We've got six foot boxes spread out for you. We are getting ready, ready, ready for y'all to get back in the studio. All right, here we go. You got three, two, and one, one minute of jumping rope. 
That's good. Light on your feet here, guys. Staying on the balls of those feet. Look at her. It's good. Not jumping up too high. Do what? She said it's a lot easier to do without the mic on. That was cool. I came in the back door while they were recording halfway point, and I could hear her encouraging, motivating voice over the microphone system, the sound system. It was cool. 20 seconds. It made me want to work out. It really did. Come on, friends. 10 more seconds of jump rope. Come on, don't stop. Notice that she picks up the pace. You can do that without a jump rope. You know that's an option at home. You just hop, 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 and rest. Nice. All right, you're gonna use that balance trainer if you have one, flip it flat side up, and you're gonna just do mountain climbers off of it. So I gave that, it's challenging your balance, which is cool, but you can also do just regular mountain climbers without that. If you need um, even less challenge, you can put your hands, elevate them up on something so you don't have to come down as low. We got options, team. We've always got options. You have five seconds left to recover. So get in position and let's go. One minute right here. Nice, so I love how Kenzie's turned to the side so I can see that her hands are placed on that balance tra trainer directly under her shoulders. Her back nice and flat. And just pulling those knees, alternating. Pull, pull, pull. Really squeeze your, I can see her shaping her butt basically as she presses that foot back. I'm just, part of my job is to look at y'all's butts. That's a true statement right there. There's the halfway point, come on. That's a good butt. Why is it good? Because she does balance, or mountain climbers. Come on team. Less than 20 seconds here, you got this. There you go. All right, 10 second mark. See what she did there? She's, it was still challenging for her. She was still at about her eight out of 10 effort, but now she's kicking it up to 10 out of 10 to finish this. Three, two, and one. That was good. All right, you're gonna row. If you don't have a rower, what option did we give him for rowing? Jump squats? Jump squats, if you don't have a rower, you could also do a deadlift into an upright, or a squat to an upright row with dumbbells. Squat to an upright row is a cool idea also. I'll show you that once we get started. All right, Kenzie's ready, nice posture. She's gonna jump back with those legs in three, two, and one. Yeah, jump back, lean back, pull. So notice the power is right there in the jump. The patience is on the return. So the move I was talking about with this uh, squat to upright row. go over the halfway point 20 seconds left here come on boom it's one count back two counts forward notice that she does not bend her knees until that handle has crossed over them right there oh she's picking it up because you have seven seconds to go boom and rest nice work all right, we're gonna grab that sledgehammer, but this time you're shoveling. So imagine, maybe you have a shovel at home, you can actually use a shovel. You could use a dumbbell for this too. We're gonna go halfway throwing something over one shoulder, halfway throwing something over the other. And let's go. She's shoveling over her right shoulder. So she's imagining something right in front of her, in between her legs, a pile of something, sand. Toss it, scoop it with the head of whatever you're using and throw it over your shoulder. God, I wish I could see you all because I have to correct these all the time. Kenzie's are perfect. She clearly grew up on a farm. She did, actually. Come on. All right, switch sides, halfway point. Now you're gonna have a more awkward side because we all have a more dominant side. 
you're right-handed, you probably started with that side. She's now scooping and throwing it over her left shoulder. The move is the same. Giving a little squat there to pick up the heavy item, imagine it, and then throw it over your shoulder. Throw it, toss it, good. 10 seconds, guys, come on. Keep going, use those arms, use that lower body, use that core, boom. Nice, and rest, good job. You're done with that. You're going to do a seated bike. You only have two exercises to go. Is this thing gonna be over? That's impressive. I love your Muhammad Ali quote today. Y'all suffer now. You live the rest of your life as a champion. That's what we're doing here. Less tension on this bike. More about speed, because it's seated. And let's go, one minute. So if you're doing high knees here, just go high knees. You can do them with a little more of a dance move like Ryan was doing them earlier. Move, move, move. Speed, you got somewhere to be and it's urgent. Pick up that cadence, that tempo that you're push, pull, push, pull. You really push on that pedal. There you go. If you do not feel uncomfortable here, if you don't feel breathless, then figure out a way to make it more uncomfortable. If you're on a bike, add more tension if you need to and try to keep the same pace. You create the challenge. Go 10 more seconds, come on. If you're doing high knees, let's go. Pull, 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 pull. Pull that knee up a little bit higher if you're doing high knees. Three, two, and one, good job. You finish with those kettlebell full depth full depth push-ups. So this is where I would say, if you don't have anything that can support you, you wanna be safe at home. So if you have a nice, you could use dumbbells um, that will elevate you just a little bit off the ground, you know, grab the handles of the dumbbells. But you guys saw me bust out the laundry detergent the other day where I spilled it all over the floor. So be careful with whatever you choose, but get ready. In three, two, let's go. One final minute here. So yeah, her hands are right under her shoulders. She comes down, she widened those legs for more stability. Maybe you're doing them straight off the ground. Maybe you need less of a challenge so you've got your hands on the arm of the couch. So you decrease that resistance. Make this work for you. Maybe you're doing your push-ups from your knees. She could be doing what she's doing right here from her knees also with her hands on the kettlebell. Just keep that butt down. There you go, halfway point right there. That's it. You tell yourself, this is the last exercise today. Last 20 seconds of this workout. You might feel like you're suffering now. You've got the rest of your life to live as a champion because of what you're doing right here. 10 seconds. Thank you, Muhammad Ali. You got it. Five seconds, highs and lows. And rest. You just completed MVP with Kenzie and Ryan. Yeah, they did. Well done, guys. Thanks for letting me join your party today. I'm sorry I was late to the party. I, I was fashionably late to the party. Ryan Goodland in the house. Did you all know about this? Girl, y'all know that's my daughter and she's moving to Los Angeles on Friday. So we're happy she's in the studio for a little bit, a little bit longer. Kenzie, you crushed it. Uh, not without my girl Ryan over here. <laughs> She's a natural. She's a young male. <laughs> young male. Guys, we can't wait to see you guys. Awesome job today. We miss you. Love you. See you in just a few days. Monday. Monday. Can't wait to Back see you. Back in right there. 6 a.m. Bye, guys. Take care.